ఓం నమస్తే ఐఎమ్ డాక్టర్ వెంకటా చాగంటి ప్రెసిడెంట్ వేదాస్ వరల్డ్ ఇంక్ ఇన్ అవర్ ప్రీవియస్ వీడియో వీ హ్యావ్ గివెన్ ఎవిడెన్స్ దట్ యజ్ఞా కెన్ రిమూవ్ పొల్యూషన్ ఇన్ ద ఇయర్ ట్వంటీ ట్వెల్వ్ వీ కండక్టెడ్ యజ్ఞ దట్స్ కాల్ ఇస్ బృహస్పతి మహాయజ్ఞ ఇన్ ద మంత్ ఆఫ్ సెప్టెంబర్ సెప్టెంబర్ థర్టీయత్ అండ్ ఐ హ్యావ్ షోన్ యూ ద రిజల్ట్స్ హౌ ద యజ్ఞా కెన్ రిమూవ్ పొల్యూషన్ on 30th and 1st second i have given you the results and also the rain water after the yagna that we collected how the results are so but one yagna giving such results can it be taken as a scientific evidence the answer is no we have to show the same results or similar results in every time we do the yagna so we conducted every year one yagna at least one yagna so 2013 2014 2015 2016 17 18 and 19 so from 2012 for the 8 years we have conducted and our work shows that clearly yagna can remove pollution so now let me give you the results of 2013 and 2014 in the month of 2013 in, in the month of may 2013 we conducted sri mahalakshmi srauta mahayagna at uh, shakti mandir uh, it is in uh, maro so that uh, that yagna yielded very good results i in the previous uh, uh, year 2012 the results what i have shown in the previous video it shows that year results so what i did is that every year uh, between uh, may 19th to may 31st these 12 days how the pollution existed in that area for the past decade i took the data and then uh, i kept the data in a tabular form to show you how the air quality index average existed between may 19th and may 31st why these two dates because we did yagna on may 25th so i want to show you how pre prior to yagna and after yagna club together average how it will be so in the month of may 2013 we did yagna so i collected data from 20 2004 2004 to 2013 between the dates of may 19th and may 31 and took their average and kept as a tabular form and also as a graphical form so i have shown you and after that i have taken from may 28th to may 31st that is after yagna yagna was on 25th so i wanted to see after uh, three more days how the results will be so from 28th to 31st also i collected the data and i kept this in tabular form and i have given those data to you so in, you'll see in the video how it will be and similarly 2014 we did indra yagna but that time what we did is that uh, in 2013 there were 40 families which participated and in 2015 only three families participated we just limited to one yagna kunda and did the yagna the the reason for this is variations we have seen we have seen different variations that is one yagna kunda what results and uh, a number of yagna kunda what results it will give so this type of data we accumulated over years so in the previous video we, i have shown you 20 2012 results and now i'm going to give you 2013 and 14 results please watch this is the data collected uh, in the month of may 2013 the aqi for the period of 19th may to 31st may is given on the top figures figure 1a and figure 1b and between 28th may and 31st may the data is given in the figure 2a and 2b so we did sri mahalakshmi mahasravata yagnam on 25th may in the hindu uh, shakti mandir hindu temple shakti mandir it's called a shakti mandir and it is close to atlanta so we collected the data and from 19th may to 31st may we took the aqi and averaged it for a period from 2004 to 2013 for a period of 10 years we did this estimation to show that 
it is not just uh, uh, you know you may think that the pollution has decreased just gently like that so we collected uh, for every year for the past 10 years in Atlanta how the pollution is increasing or decreasing so you can see that 2004 it is 54.54 between 19th May and 31st May and then 2005 49.69 2006 60 2007 88 2008 65 2009 39.58 this is due to the Hindu temple of Atlanta did uh, Brahmotsavalu and they did continuously for a period of uh, five six days the yagna so uh, uh, from morning to evening the yagna process went on so due to that the pollution has come down in 2009 and 2010 47.31 2011 62 2012 47.84 and 2013 we did see Mahalash Mahayagnam and that time the pollution has come down to 39.50 you can see these uh, bars so 2007 heavy pollution and 2011 heavy pollution 2008 heavy pollution every year except 2009 and 2013 2009 hindu temple of atlanta did and 2013 vedas world inc did so these two data shows very clearly during the agnam period the pollution has come down that is uh, between may 19th and 31st may the actual EGNA took place on 25th May. So we took 12 days period. We want to show that before the EGNA and after the EGNA period club together average so that you will know the pollution how much it has reduced. That's the, that's the reason you have an average there. And now you can see from 28th May to 31st May. Why did we take these dates? Because the EGNA took place on 25th May and we want to check up after three days what's the because I've shown you the graphs and I've shown you the dynamic map and now I want to show you the pollution levels. So 2013 to 20, 2004, 2004 50.18 then 2005 43.12, 2006 59, 2007 89, 2008 67, 2009 46, 2010 47, 2011 67, 2012 40, 2013 35.90 you can see that the pollution levels at uh, um, Vedas World Inc performance has shown that the three days after the EGNA period the pollution is only 35.90 and the same thing between 19th May to 31st May so with the average how nicely it was done you can see that we we have done the average that time and this time and shown you that due to yagna the pollution levels have come down whereas for the past 10 years you can see all years have more pollution during the same period of time on 25th may 2013 we did yagna with 40 families participating and the location is Morrow, which is to the right of Riverdale and to the bottom of Atlanta. Uh, so it is somewhere between uh, I-20 and I-75. Okay, so there was no pollution on 25th May, but we know the forest fire pollution from Florida is uh, coming towards Georgia. And you will see that uh, the pollution enters Georgia and how the Yagna removed the pollution. So this is now uh, 26th, uh, 2013 and early morning hours, but 25th we did the EGNA early in the morning between 6.30 and 11.30. So now it is 26th morning and you can see from the left hand side, that is from the, from the Florida side, the pollution is coming towards Atlanta and it was because of the forest fire, heavy pollution entered and uh, it, the, a lot of reports were there about that. So let's see whether the EGNA which we did could remove the pollution or not. So now we enter 27th. See how slowly the pollution is uh, coming from Florida, which is about 500 miles away. And 27th, uh, the pollution is in that position. And the EGNA materials which are sent into the space are now uh, in communication with this pollution particles and you'll see that uh, on 27th evening by evening the pollution has been eliminated and 28th you can see that will be without any pollution so that is how yagna can remove pollution 
you see how the forest fires can create a lot of pollution other than the industrial pollution the vehicular pollution domestic pollution and other pollutions so you can see that the pollution wanted to come back but uh, the yagna materials could remove that pollution successfully by 28th may may 11th 2014 you can see the pollution around atlanta how it's spreading so we thought uh, will it be continuing for a day or two or will it subside so it looks that uh, it did not subside instead it started spreading so we decided that we will do yagna on may 14th uh, because may 14th happens to be a full moon day so then uh, on 12th we observed whether it is going to continue or not you can see that even on 12th may 2014 the pollution existed in and around atlanta so the egna to be conducted in 2014 uh, will be done because uh, that that happens to be a full moon day we generally do egnas on full moon days only so rest of the days from amavasya to pournami we do a, uh, one egna kunda egnam but on the main day on the pournami day we put a number of egna kundas and do the egna so then on may 14th we started the yagna so this is still may 13th you can see the pollution existing on that day even so we did on may 14 the yagna and you'll see that may 14th may 15th may 16th the pollution has been eliminated completely so uh, that process uh, is um, there uh, in vedas how to do it and what materials have to be kept inside the yagnam so this is uh, now may 14th you can see slight pollution the uh, right hand uh, left hand corner it has gone already and uh, by um, 8:49 9:40 so on that day we did the yagnam in the morning hours and you can see that uh, it's now 2 pm and there is no trace of the pollution anywhere so this uh, is a, a big achievement for vedas world inc as you can see that every year from 2012 2012 2013 2014 now so the agna has been conducted uh, uh, whenever there is a pollution or whenever we think it's appropriate to do conduct the agna so you can see that uh, successfully we could eliminate the pollution in and around atlanta so the egna has been done at magdana so as usual and you can see on may 15th also there is no pollution so then we move on to may 16th that is two days after the egna you will find there is no pollution even on that day so even in 2014 we could successfully show evidences that yagna can remove pollution so we will continue the same trend for 20 15 16 17 18 and 19 so you got the data of 2013 and 2014 you have seen how yagna could successfully remove the pollution so this data whatever i have presented to you is an excellent data and remember that the dynamic maps which are showing is not by us it's by government so they do it for everyone you can go online and check them yourself so there is no association between us and the government the government does it its own way we are doing our own way so after we do we are collecting the data so that's what and doing the data i put the data in tabular form and show to the public what egna we did and how the results were yielded so now in the next videos i'll be giving you 15 16 17 and then 18 and 19 so two more videos to come and then we will do the rainwater analysis in the georgia uh, during these periods and then we will do tornado analysis when we did this egnas for these years what happened to the tornadoes and also to the hurricane what we did all this will club together in separate videos and put them so please keep watching and donate to vedas world inc we are collecting money for uh, doing egna 
in Delhi and removing the pollution. We require 35 crores uh, and I have given you in a, in a previous to previous video how, why we require that kind of money. So please kindly watch those videos. I'll keep those links in the details and then you can understand what work we are doing. Thank you. Oh.